Hey y'all, NK here and welcome back to the cookery. If you are new here, welcome to the kitchen. Today I'll be trying something that I have never really tried before as well as kind of making pizza for the second time. It's kind of hard to believe I haven't made before. It's kind of easy but also somewhat a hassle, especially last time if you love that many toppings. But if you want to see if I actually can like this chicken alfredo pizza, stay tuned. All right, so I basically already flattened out my dough. I didn't make a lot because it's not really that much. I don't want to dislike it and then have way more left over. Y'all know that feeling. So I am just going to oof, poke holes as usual. Still don't know why, but we're gonna poke holes in it. I honestly, I will put the dough recipe that I use down below. I'll put the dough recipe as well as the kind of chicken alfredo guide, I like to say, because I really do my own chicken cheese and alfredo but it's like a guide if you really want like kind of some good proportions go ahead and use that so for the dough i it's just basically all-purpose flour some yeast salt olive oil and hot water and at one i kind of use half of it but at one point i just started probably free handing it especially with the olive oil and hot water so eventually it turned out good though so next I'm going to take my Bertoli Alfredo sauce here and I'm going to just kind of put maybe, I want to say two tablespoons. I'm really not going to put a lot of sauce because I'm not a huge sauce fan with literally anything. Alright, that is basically our sauce. Now I'm going to add the toppings. I honestly didn't really use like a lot of freehand toppings like in my custom pizza. If you guys haven't watched that video, please do. It's super fun and first time I've ever made pizza so <laughs> quite entertaining I must say. And I'll be using only some chicken, onions, and tomato. And I know it's a surprise to hear me like putting tomato on my pizza, but it may sound actually refreshing, I guess. I really don't know, you guys. I really don't know. I'm taking a chance with this. So we're just going to try that and see how it goes. All right, so next I'm going to add my cheese. I obviously have cheddar and mozzarella here, but for this pizza, I'm only using mozzarella. Kind of makes sense. I don't want like, I don't know. Whoever puts cheddar on Alfredo pasta, I guess. That's kind of the thing. So just kind of create that a little more. Add, ooh, clumsy, clumsy. Okay, I'm just gonna add some of that. Definitely starting to like it so far, I think. <laughs> kind of coming out just as supposed to be. Nothing bad has happened yet. So I'm just gonna add that I'm pretty good i'm gonna add more cheese come on you guys you, you know i'm basically like a mouse at this point i love cheese <laughs> okay so next up i'm gonna add some chicken i honestly didn't really use like i don't know kind of maybe half a cup i want to say i think so but it really just depends how much chicken you want i probably won't even use all this chicken actually because i'm just going out about how much pizza do i have as a guide so I don't want to put too much and overcrowd even though I totally overcrowd last time but I've never tried this pizza before so I don't want to overdo it you know just like a okay keep it simple type of thing so I'm gonna put some there and I think I can fit one more piece in so let's do this all right and this is just some plain chicken breast and it didn't say really to marinate or marinate the chicken or anything so I'm just gonna go as it so now i'm gonna add i have some regular white onions as well as some shallots here just to add a bit more flavor and color there's no need for it to be diced i don't think at least that's not what the video of which said so or the recipe said so i'm just gonna add them here all right so now i'm gonna add my a bit of tomatoes just to kind of give it kind of the tomatoes are also with pico de gallo so there's a little of the like jalapenos get in too Give it a spice, why not? So let's just add a couple of drizzle there. All right, you guys, so now that my somewhat finished pizza is ready to hop in the oven, my oven just reached 425 degrees. So now I'm going to put them in for 16 minutes I'm gonna start off with. And if I change, I'll let you guys know, but I'm pretty sure 16 minutes is the way to go. And I will see you guys soon for the final review. All right, you guys, so after baking this for 16 minutes exact, it turns out 
really well like it actually smells so good i'm actually really surprised right now if you guys cannot tell um the chicken is actually really good and crispy definitely sure it's done honestly the cheese did cover up all the alfredo so i'm happy about that but the alfredo and cheese smells so good and like the dough is very nice and crispy so pretty sure i did that right too it's honestly it looks so good i feel like i should have added a bit more onions because they kind of obviously shrunk but it's okay this is the only first time i can definitely make this more so i'm gonna cut this right now wow okay it's definitely oh it's definitely very nice and easy to cut which is great i didn't want it to be too crispy or else that would have been a pain okay i'm just gonna cut it or should i cut it oh shoot you guys <laughs> well i mean it's not really round so i can't really cut it like a regular pizza anyway but i'll just cut it like i cut the last one which is like kind of in triangles basically Ooh, that looks good honestly so good now that everything is nicely chopped i am going to you say add a bit of parsley just to kind of decorate it and it definitely it definitely is kind of decorating it. it looks very pretty and nice obviously i'm just gonna add just a few bits don't want it too parsley too partially too partially like i guess all right now i'm gonna take a bite so i'm thinking i'm gonna take this piece Ooh, la la okay Whew. you guys ready for this i don't know if i am super good like honestly it's kind of just like reminds me of just a pasta with like pasta on bread kind of except no like the noodle but like i mean i guess the bread is in kind of exchange for the carbs of pasta noodles i don't really know but it tastes good I told you guys like i kind of freehanded the dough at one point with the olive oil and um what's it called hot water i'll have the recipe down below the one that i used the dough for basically that's what i kind of use the ingredients for you can make I was aiming for a half, but I started going on my own path, and I made this, and it actually tastes really good. Like, it's nice and crunchy. Honestly, it tastes like really good dough. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. But please comment down below what what were you, what was your thoughts on this? You know, like, would you try an Alfredo pizza, or would you try a pesto pizza, or just plain marinara pizza? It's all up to you guys and your taste buds, basically. Please give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you enjoyed and you kind of were surprised as well. I definitely wasn't expecting to like it this much, but the Alfredo and mozzarella definitely go super well together. Definitely a good blend and honestly kind of cute. It's actually really pretty to look at and that's also something that you, everyone probably enjoys, let's be honest here. And please hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a brand new video every week. So please stay tuned and keep watching.